What about the argument that says human beings are prone to violence, they're prone to carrying out crimes against their fellow man. You can blame religion, you can blame politics, you can blame economics. Lots of factors, lots of excuses. Why on, what I don't get is why do you only focus on religion? For fairness, why don't you also isolate the other factors? There are lots of other factors, and I'm, I'm quite happy to say that, yes. There are, there are lots of, I mean, if you look at the wars of history, um, some of them have been about religion, plenty of them have not been about religion. I never said religion is the, the, the sole cause of, of wars and, and uh, violence. You, you may not have said that, but you would accept that the new atheists, people like Sam Harris, the late Christopher Hitchens, have blamed a lot of history's wars on God and religion, and you make a similar no, suggestion in The would, God Delusion. Yeah, I would blame a lot of history's wars, but the most terrible wars in history, the two major wars of the, se of the 20th century, are nothing to do with religion. Those you are, those you accept are, that point? Uh, yeah, of course. And I the do. Cold War and Vietnam? Yes, I would, of, of course, yes. So, when you have a situation where some of the world's worst crimes were carried out not by believers, how then does that square with your idea that it's religion that causes good people to do bad things, it's religion that's driving violence, your original statement against religion at the start of this? Dogmatic belief in something like religion or something like Marxism or something like Nazism, uh, these are all, or, or indeed patriotism, I mean my country right or wrong, these are all pernicious beliefs which can drive people to do, to do terrible things. And in the Second World War, um, Hitlerism was driven by, um, by, by racism, by a sort of um, sub-Wagnerian pagan religion which Hitler uh, revived. Um, Stalin's atrocities were, were motivated by uh, a dogmatic belief in Marxism. Um, and atheism. Stalin happened to be an atheist, but he was never motivated specifically. Soviet Union was not based on scientific rationalism, on the elimination of religion and God? So, um, St Stalin persecuted the church. He pers Stalin persecuted just about everybody. <laughs> Are you saying that the Soviet Union, the leaders of the Soviet Union, were not driven by a hatred of religion and a, and a belief that science and human progress and materialism was the way forward? They believed that materialism, science, human progress, those are kind of, Mar there was a Marxist slant on those, on those words, and they were hideously misused. Mao Zedong, when he invaded Tibet, told the Dalai Lama that religion is poison. The subtext to the late Christopher Hitchens' book was religion poisons everything. Can you blame people of religion for saying, hold on, we've heard these ideas before, that religion poisons everything, and it leads in one direction? It's an incidental fact that Mao Zedong and Stalin happened to be atheists. They incidental, were not it, wasn't, it wasn't core to communism. It, I, I think it was not core to communism, no. So when Karl Marx was talking about religion being the opiate of the masses, that was just a throwaway line? <laughs>